Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Nom Moneys here, and today we got some BFB Coliseum Tier 0. And I think the focus of today is going to be try harding with a lot of unusual or just strats that people don't usually go. I'm kind of excited because I like doing this in BFB because Moab Pit, they don't really have the best players, so you can kind of get away with a lot of it, but I kind of want to challenge myself and use some fun strats that people don't usually go. So it really depends on the map, to be honest. Um, I don't know if you guys count Ninja Farm Mortar as an unusual strat now because I use it all the time, but I would still consider it. Oh my god, we got Dilly. We got Dilly. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys count Ninja Farm Mortar, but we're going to try something different. Yellow Brick Road. Um, what do I want to go? We could try Dartling Farm Glue. Just like off meta strategies, I guess. Or we can go, hmm, we can go like Dart Farm Tack. I think I'm just going to skip. Yellow Brick Road is honestly a good map, but I'm not really ready. Zen Garden. Nope. Also, I have a question of the day for you guys. If you guys were to give uh, buffs or nerfs to the towers and BTD, what would you guys do to the towers? For example, mine would be buffing the super monkey so that most of its prices are like reduced by maybe 50, 40%. And also the the super range would give camo detection and everything just cheaper. Um, I think that would be really good buff because super monkey is just unusable. It's only usable Bonanza, and if you think about it, the, the price buff won't really affect it in Bonanza. It would make it usable in regular arenas, and I think that's pretty key because it's not usable in arenas at all. And you might be arguing, well, if you buff it, then every arena game is just going to go late game. Well, that's not true because you need farms if you're going Super Monkey because you just don't have enough money, right? And if you need farms and you have Super, you're only limited to one tower. So that's why I think... It's pretty, it's pretty hard to use Super Monkey in arenas. It's almost impossible, I would say. Even with like the best conditions, um, I'm still unable to pull off Super Monkey in regular arenas, which is kind of upsetting, to be honest. I'd like to see more for the Super Monkey in the future. Um, you can you can say in the comments like, oh, maybe I want NGs to like have a slower cleansing form production. Or maybe something like uh, the the chipper can now detect camo that would give it that would make it pretty viable, or you know something like that. Like it could be as absurd as you want. It could be as minor as you want. I read all the comments and I like to know each and every one of your thoughts on the buffs and towers of this game. I think that'd be pretty interesting. So today we are using sub farm ice against the big dilster. Um, I'm surprised he's not sending me anything. Um, pinks are actually devastating for us, and funnily enough, blacks would actually be better for us because they're slower, so that ice can have a better time catching them, catching the leaks at least. So I'm gonna get permafrost. One, two. Yeah, we're gonna try to double slow that. Yep. Looks like it's doing pretty well. Now he's sending pink blues. He's smart. I don't know why he sent them so late. He just let me eco a lot, which is totally good for us. It doesn't look like he's going to stop sending, so... I think we're going to have to save up for... No, he did stop sending. Nice. So I think now we save up for a plantation. Hopefully we stop leaking. I would like to stop leaking. So white balloons are going to be kind of an issue. Honestly, a lot of things are going to be quite a bit of an issue with the strategy. Um, I usually go sub farm bomb as like my off meta. But I guess sub ice bomb is the off meta off meta, you know? Because pretty much everything that I use is not the meta meta. Like, if I were to go meta meta on this map, it would be uh, boat farm mortar. But then my off meta would be... Is he just going to boost this? Oh, shoot. So yeah. Oh my god, 69 lives. Don't leak anymore, please. So yeah, my meta would be boat farm mortar. My off meta would be sub farm bomb. My off off meta would be... Sub farm ice. This is not a good strategy. It's pretty hard to pull off, I would say. He actually didn't get a uh, cluster bomb. I'm kind of surprised. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have to get up you, unfortunately. How much does it sell for? 12. If he sends us white balloons, we're kind of fucked. Actually, I'm going to go for it at the end of this round. Got it. 
Nice. So we're tied in, we're almost tied in farms. That's fantastic. Okay, we'll get that. Okay, this is really, we can't really send him anything. Because he has a reactor and a cluster. We can only send him a ceramic. So we're like not too far behind in farms, and we ecoed a lot. I don't really notice eco that. What was he sending? He's sending a lot of space balloons. So his eco's probably at like 320 maybe. If I had to guess. But like we're not, we're not far behind in farms. No cap. Oh, maybe I should have just went for a bank. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. Go for you. What are you going to do against that? Is that going to be enough? Nope, he gets a sub. Is that going to be enough? Ooh, he leaking, leaking. Send you one more. I don't know if this is if we can afford a BIA or a bank, but I'm just going for it anyway. Oh, I didn't afford it. Oh, that's awkward. Um, I don't think we can afford to get up a BIA. He's gone for a bank. Okay, fine. I'll go for it as well. Because he can't punish me too badly. So we both got it up on the same round, technically. I'm going to put a thingy right here. If he sends us a Moab, we're kind of fricked. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. We're vibing now. Now we got to save up for our BFB defense. Honestly, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I think we need ballistic missiles boost and then like get an arctic win in the back which i don't know if it's affordable i'm gonna let him be the aggressor though because i mean defending makes for content you know also like i don't know i feel like sending a bfb would do a lot of damage to him but i really don't have enough money to defend one on my own so i think that's kind of my assessment right there he's got the clusty busty he he should be expecting a BFB, but like I said, I can't afford one. I think we'll put the ice shards right here. Yeah, he's gonna send one right now. I gotta ice stall immediately, and then get some like ballistic missiles. I think that I think this is a good ice shard spot, but I don't think the the mobs are gonna pop down into ceramics in time if he catches my grift. So I'm gonna go for you. I'm gonna go for you, you. I don't know if I need another one. Ooh, it's actually getting shredded pretty quickly. This is going to be my Arctic Wind. This is going to be my Ice Shards. So I kind of hope that it can we can extend this to the... Ooh. Okay, honestly. I really want to afford this. Oh my god, we're so close. Can I afford this without... Oh, wow, we can. Come on. No, you're supposed to be. Ice shards go to work. Ice shards go to work, please. Yo, we did that without cashing, our, cashing out our BIA. No way. Oh, my God. Holy shoot. How do we do that without cashing out our BIA? It's actually so clutch. I'm going to go for this, actually. Yo, we're vibing. We're actually vibing so hard. Okay, I should have waited until he got his farm, but it is what it is. Yo, I can't believe we defended that. I pretty much calculated. I mean, I didn't really calculate it, but I got kind of got lucky. All right, we got two BIAs right now. That's perfect. I should have waited until he got a farm and then sent one. I think he's going to have to boost this, no? I feel like he does. Okay, he just has enough money in store. Yeah, he's vibing. Now he's going to sell all that defense. So let's say he gets up a BIA. I know that he used all his defense money to get a BIA. Oh, he at least down to 18 lives. Let's see if he sells all of his maulers. No, he's actually going for that. I think I outlast him. Honestly, I have no idea. Since I have an Arctic Winter and Ice Shards in the back, I'm not worried at all. Honestly, I could maybe even put, put an Ice Shards like here. Dude, this is actually going really well. I think he, he, the reason, like we afforded it perfectly because he sent it a little bit later than immediately sending it on round 20, which is huge for us. Absolutely bonkers. So this is gonna be a future ice shard spot. 
Um, yeah, we're, we should be vibing to this. Like, Ice Shards and Arctic Wind, in theory, has unlimited popping power. Unless the Zebras get by. Okay, no, we're vibing. Let's go. Yo, this is mad hype. Um, Regen Rainbows. Don't care. We're about to get our first factory. This is cooked up at 5k each. Alright, we got our first factory. And he just got one as well. But we have two BIAs. So let's go. Alright, I'm gonna get you... Um, I can also get another Ice Shards. This is kind of making me nervous a little bit. Like, what if the, there's a bunch of Zebras that get by? Oh, it's round 27. Okay. I'll get a bunch of you. I don't know how many Ballistic Missiles are enough. I never use Ballistic Missiles. So he has like uh, two more Plantations on me, but I have a BIA. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, this should be enough. Look at that. Wow. I'm just gonna get an Ice Shards right here. Hmm. Yo, we're vibing. Honestly, I might have put a reactor right here. Because there's zebra balloons that are getting by. It's making me kind of nervous. I hope I'm recording. Okay, I was recording. Easy. So you got this two factories now, but dude, I have two pretty much full BIAs. It's pretty bonkers. I, I guess I can wait one more round. It wouldn't hurt. All right, we're gonna go for you. Go for you. Let's see. Um, round 30. Okay, cash these out. I'm pretty sure I have like double his ego. Oh wow, he do be spamming. I feel like this the play for a dilly is to spam Moab Maulers. What do you guys think? Actually, I'm gonna put the Arctic Wind here. Um. I am gonna put a reactor here. I'm a little bit scared. Round 32. I'm gonna put as many ice shards as we can. Oh, I got up an arc to uh, absolute zero. That's fine. We're going to need those anyway. Okay, now we spam these. I'm going to leave some of them on first. I think advanced intel doesn't really matter. I'm going to leave this corner for a sub ability. So... Dude, we got 2,000 eco. He didn't get up a BIA. see more ices now it's time to get some oh wow we've ran out of money already hmm this is quite interesting this is my first time going the strategy that or like the first time that I seriously went the strategy hmm when do we rush like, the problem is you can only fit four farms, so, like, you don't really got that that much to do. And also, sub-ability is so draining. So, I think I'm going to put all these ones up first and all the ones up here. Actually, it's fine. We're vibing. We're vibing. I, was, I, I, I stalled him a zero because I'm used to sabbing with the ninja. It's kind of funny. Do I need more ice stalls? Hmm. When do I rush him? He has a lot of money. We also have boost to use. So, like... I don't know. Um, let's see. We don't have that many ice cells. So let's get a couple more. Honestly, I don't like uh, Mike growing in this corner because it's tiny. Oh, he's balloon boosting. Or full sending. I'm going to sell a farm. I'm gonna tower boost, slow down him as well. Uh, I don't feel like microing that much because we really don't have money. 
Also, I don't want to ice stall too much because we don't have that much. Yeah, we already ran out of money. Awkward. Awkward. We also have farms to sell, but I guess I'm gonna have to sell it. Oh, let's go! Sub farm ice! Easy peasy, lads. Easy peasy. Oh my god, that was so much fun. Um, I don't know if he wants to rematch. I kind of want to play someone else. All right, we thought the same thing. On to the next opponent. All right, we got Turtle Micro. We're going to give him the beds. See ya. Oh my god, epic clickbait. We got a freaking pro player with a 1-0 record. Who has 100... <laughs> this guy's 100% win rate. Oh, Lee. Yo, we better give his first loss. Please, I really want to give him his first loss. Oh, Glacier Melt. That's about to be a loss for me. Offside. Yo, dude, I had so much fun with Dartling Farm Bomb. Like, holy, I really underestimated it late game. Like, oh my god, that is insane. That is insane. Dartling Farm Bomb is insane. So, I think we're going to anti-stall. Apparently, this is the spot. I don't really know. Also, the second spot's like here, and the bomb's like here. I don't know if it's here, here, or here. I don't really- Oh, he's going Wiz? What? This guy's 100% win rate, and he's going Wiz in a really bad spot. So, maybe he's ecoing. Hmm. No, he's farming. I think Ryan Mahela goes to 259, and then he sends two pinks. So since, um, if I knew he was farming, I would have sent more spaced blues. I think I'm gonna anti stall because it hurts, hurts him more than it hurts me, I believe. So I think I'm gonna keep sending blues because he could try to greed for his farm, which he's gonna be punished. Oh my god, we're two dollars short. So we're going to send Space Blues. We got up our 1-0 farm. I don't even know if we got our third banana, but that's fine. So he should get us... He got Fireball. That's a mistake. He spiked him. That's one spike. Let's count. I'm tryharding this game. I want to make this guy lose. That's one spike. That's... Okay, that's a Lightning now. Okay, now I stop anti-stalling. Because I have higher eco. Actually, I don't know. Wizard relies on late game. Actually, so do I. Alright, whatever. We're reviving. We're not going to afford it. We're $2 short. Yep. Calculated. So he's not sending us anything, which is fine. I got up I got up my plantation pretty late, but it's okay because I'm focusing on his farms. I don't really know what that whiz spot is though. Like it's not close to the track. Okay, he got that. Remember he's one spike. Um Okay, this is kind of I mean I guess Darling Farm no Darling Farm Bomb is meta. Okay, it's not the meta, but it is a meta, alright? I know all of you DFA sweats are going to be like, but it's awesome, you're supposed to go DFA as the meta, but Darling Farm is also. Darling Farm Bomb is also the meta. Okay, I don't know. I was on autopilot for a sec, so I just kept sending. But he got up that. Did he get up two lightnings? Like, nope, I don't think he did. It just looks like it. I right, so we straight vibing. Let's see if he gets up a farm or something. Uh... If he gets up a farm, then so am I. Psych. I'm gonna send you. If he sends me yellows, I'm okay boosting. Alright. I think he has two lightnings. Wow, we just leaked that whole yellow. Yeah, I think he has two lightnings. So I, I think now we can anti-stall. I don't know. I don't know what I should be doing. I don't really know. He's balloon boosting. I think I'm gonna boost that. Okay, that's totally fine. Okay, now we try to stall because we want our boost back by round 13. Will it come back in time? I do not know. I'm gonna go for you. I'm also gonna go for you. I think the Darling spot's like right here. No idea. Okay, our boost is back. That's really good. Now, if he all outs me, we just get up a thingy in the back. He's going for a farm. Okay. I know I shouldn't be playing this aggro, but I kind of want to. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to send him a shit ton of zebras. He's probably going to Whisper Farm Village or Whisper Farm. He tower boosts. What is his last tower? I really want to know. Hmm. 
Mm. I know I'm not supposed to be this aggro, but I feel like my... Like, Wiz usually goes late game. He either has Wiz Farm Ace or... Wiz Farm Village, so he beats me late game. I'm gonna send this, send this. 97 lives. Oh wow, he defends. He got up a lot of defense. Okay, so we... Wow, he has a lot of defense. So, I'm kind of okay with where I'm at. Like, not really, but like, it'll have to do. Maybe we get up around 17 VIA? That's too late, right? I don't know, some pro let me know in the chat. Because I feel like he has a late game in- Oh, he has no camera detection. And he's got two lightnings now. Two with camera detection. If he punishes me, I'm fucked. Dude, he has like no camera detection. Is he all outing? Oh, I'm botting up. I'm botting up. I'm botting up. No, I'm not. Let's go. Woo! Okay, that was easy. I don't know how this guy has a freaking 100%. I'm going to get a couple more dartlings just in case he camo's all out, camo all outs me. I don't know when I'm boosting that, so I'm just going to boost it now. I'm going to send a couple of camo ceramics because he has tack. Yup, calling it. I hope he's not a hacker, please. Let's go! Kinda disappointed, not gonna lie. We got I sub to all BTD YouTubers. I know this guy. I don't know, he goes by like a lot of names, but I recognize his IGN. So we're gonna drop a high. We're gonna continue going unusual strategies. I know Darling Farm Bomb isn't an unusual strategy, but we just had to give that guy an L. Ghostly Coasts. Hmm, what do we wanna go on Ghostly Coast? We could go Dart Farm Sub. I've never played with this strategy. Ian in my Discord is telling me how the strategy is pretty good. I don't know the Dart Spots, so you guys are going to have to bear with me if it's cringe. Because it's going to be cringe. I think I'm just going to play passive and try to get like a BIA, but it's super hard on this map. Um, I don't remember the defense that you need. Okay, he's not anti killing That's really good for us. It's really good for us. I'm actually just not even going to send anything. Because he's got the boat. He's got the master of early game breed. Uh, I don't know where to put my dart. I know this is a spult spot, so like I don't really want to put it in the spult spot. You feel? I'm going to give him the shock face. Oh, yes, sir. Easy reads. Okay, don't leak too much. 118 already. That's not looking too good. Oi, 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 stop leaking, please. So I feel like this is a bad dart spot. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I feel like it, it was solo, though. But there could have been a better dart spot. I think this this is the jug spot. So I'm going to send one set, and hopefully... No, I'm going to send two. Hopefully he falls for the debate. No, he's spiking. No, come on. I really wanted to afford my plantation. But now we're not going to be able to. He should afford it right after this eco boost, though. So I'm going to stop sending right now grape shot yep he got it so okay we got it up at the end of the round which is not ideal all right let's see how we do against these pinks i'm gonna spike once and see how we do uh how about this i jump strong maybe I jump first now I'm just going to send enough to force defensatories and call it that. Yep. Okay, last. Oh, this should be on last. This should be on strong. Strong. Yes, we're vibing. Easy defend. All right. Round seven. I feel like there's not much we can force. Okay, judging by the way he started, since he didn't anti-stall, I'm assuming boat mortar. And I feel like we have the late game advantage. Because I feel like Sub just outperforms Mortar late game. But I don't know. I don't know. We're about to find out. So if he sends us a rush, we can get up a Spult right here. I used to think this was the Spult spot, but apparently not. He sold his Farmer to go for a farm, presumably. I'm going for one. Don't care. Yep. 
Um, let's see. Yep, he's going mortar. Easy reads. So we're going to get ready for Reactor. I'm not even going to send him anything because why would I? It sells for like 15. I, don't, I really didn't know if I had enough money. I just freaking YOLO'd it. Oh, snipe the reds. Yes, let's go. Okay, we're vibing. Oh, wow. He do be up farming because my, my defense is expensive. Dude, he has no defense right now. So I'm going to go like this. And then like this. And then like this. Maybe go to 350. That's kind of a beefy rush. It's kind of a beefy rush. Ooh, he's leaking. He balloon boosting. I think he meant to tower boost. I'm okay just boosting this. Yeah, I feel like that was worth... Uh, rushed up. A worthy rush. Yo, look at this. Easy. Easy defense. So now we have a pretty decent eco, but um, that probably fucked us because we're trying to go for BIA. Don't know why I did that. You guys are probably cringing at me in the comments, but this is literally my first time going on this strategy. Um, what do we want to do? I think we can afford a BIA at the end of this round, so I'm gonna send this. He sent a ceramic, but I have spikes. Oh, that's multiple. It's multiple. Jump first. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. Okay, so I, I know I don't have the 1-4, the but I will get it after I have enough defense. I don't remember what, what the number was. Was it three trips and a ballistic missile? I don't remember. We also have two spikes, though. We gotta keep that into account. First. Strong, strong. Strong. Oh, we do need a ballistic missile. So the Moab. Um, boost. I'm scared. Ah, uh, no, we're dead. Fuck. See, I didn't have enough darts earlier. I should have boosted. Okay, now I know. I just, I was just way too greedy. I should have just immediately boosted. My fault, my fault. One more game, one more game. I feel like I could have I ch I feel like I could have played that so much better. Man, I really need to practice these strats before I freaking go into arenas and embarrass myself. Like come on, money's you're better than that. So because I think you need three trip darts and a ballistic. I didn't have that, so I should have just immediately boosted. That's my fault. That's my fault. I I'll take that out. We got curry muncher. And we could try it again, but I kind of want to do something else for the video. What do we got? Treasure hunt? Nah, this is just boat and mortar glue. If you don't go that strategy, you lose. Indoor pools, are you kidding me, man? Yo, yo, yo. What about this? We could meme on this map. We could meme on this map. It's not gonna go well, but we could do it. YOLO. So, okay, the reason why I got all three dartlings down here is because, let's say, I got a dartling up there, then it would already shoot some of the zebras and rainbows. And then that would be worse for the sniper because you want the sniper to hit all the strong wounds right so if the darling pops the strong wounds to weaker wounds then it's not going to synergize with the sniper what i can do here is control the aiming of the darling so like away from the uh away from the set balloons so i could like target like here so it won't hit it and yeah so this strategy loses to a mob and fast cooldown ceramics so, we just have to keep that into account. What if we afford a 2-4? That would be crazy. It costs $7,000. That's like two plantations. Interesting. I'm going to get the uh, 2 thingy. The 2-3. Two, the two, so, I'm going to aim the dartling. Wow, look at this. You don't even get to see the zebras. Yo, he's leaking? Oh, I forgot to send him. It's round 16. I was going to rush him a little bit earlier than this. But I just completely forgot. He's going to turbo. Nice. He's down to 9 lives. Okay, he's for sure going to send a Moab. So I got to get ready. Like a Sapatories. And then I'm going to send him one as well. I, th I feel like we're just dead to a Moab. 
with like with leads underneath. I think I'm gonna boost immediately when I see one. I th I'm gonna get a Bluntonium Darts if I can afford it. Come on, give me money. He's gonna all out me here. Yeah, I'm just gonna tower boost. He's all outing. No, he's not. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yo, what if we use a 2-4 sniper as a defensive tool? So we balloon boost on the three. I think we're all out of here. One, two, three. Yo, no way he defends this. No way he defends this. It's GG's. GG's no re. GG's no re. I'm the best player in the game. I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. If you guys do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And when he's catching up, peace.